So I don't have any icing sugar. I'm gonna just put some of my sugar in the blender. Today I'm gonna do a mite count. I wanna put 300 bees. That's like only half a cup in a jar with some icing sugar. And I'm gonna roll them and then later shake the mites out. I just use this inner lid, get around it, and then it just fits inside. That's it. It's that simple. One of the key pests to manage when beekeeping is the Varroa mite, which is a mite that actually sucks on the hemolymph, which is the oxygen circulation system of the bee and makes them more susceptible to all kinds of viruses, including the deformed wing virus. So it's really important to do a mite count and treat appropriately. Well, there's something wrong with these larvae. Seem to have something inside. Is it a worm like a parasite? I checked and it's most likely pollen that has been fed to it. In those older frames, it's possible that the propolis bond between the frames is stronger than the strength of the wood itself. You see, this is part of the outer frame that I ripped off because the propolis is so strong. It's all honey on one side. It's not bad for a second frame. It's all honey. No brood. Same on the other side. A light frame. A little bit of honey. Nothing on this side. The bee is being very verbal. From a queenless colony to this. That's a really nice pattern with all the broods so close to each other. Next frame. Curious. Very beautiful brood frame. Look at this. Also full of brood. So that's the type of frame I need to get bees from but without the queen. That's tricky. It's getting dark. I'm gonna brush the bees in there and then take my cup. It's a cooking show. We take one cup of bees. I don't think this is enough. This isn't gonna be half a cup of bees. I'm gonna do a different approach. I don't like this. I got like 10 bees or something. I need to think about this. Figure it out how to do it. <laughs> 